What's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is the last video on how to create a contact form using PHP Bootstrap and jQuery. So in the last tutorial we have added the contact.php file or modified the contact.php file to actually send and process our message or recipient subject and all the fields necessary for our contact form so in this tutorial we will be working on with this index.php and we will be adding all the javascripts needed to process the sending of email so if you try to go to the end of this file we will see the script which is contact.js we need to add this contact.js file to our project so we'll just go ahead and create the contact.js file okay then save for now so contact or contact.js so in here we'll just need to add the function shorthand function of jQuery of document on load and we'll just select the contact form and we just need to uh, validate it so validator and we will also add a submit function for our contact form so this will be that one and submit and then function then let's just close this for now next is we need to check if the validator validator doesn't prevent form submit so that's if e that prevent or is default default prevented and then open curly braces or open and close curly braces and we need to specify our URL which is contact.php that we have defined in the previous video so contact.php that PHP and here we will post values to the URL so let's just use the Ajax request with all the parameters that needs or that needs to set so that is post the type of this request is post and the URL will will be the URL that we have defined at the top and the data will be coming from our uh, form of course this and then let's just serialize the form and if the request is successful let's just uh, define a new function that will handle it so that will be data and of course the open and close curly braces so as we all know that the data is the JSON object that we receive we receive from contact.php so we'll just build the message alert here and we need to build a message alert here so message alert and this will be depending on the response coming from contact.php so this will be the data type and we need to set also the text so message text that will be also coming from our contact.php so data message 
And below this, we need to set the alert packs for our feedback. So we need to define a div with a class alert. Okay. So I think we need to interchange this instead of double code. We need to use a single code, and this will be the double code also. And we need to add the type coming from our index or I mean contact.php. So that will be the message alert. And also we need to add another class for this, which is alert dash dismissible. And we need to add a button to this. So that's button and of course the closing button tag and inside this opening tag we need to specify the type which is of type button and class will be close and data dismiss equals alert and area hidden equals true and we need to specify also the icon or the display for our close button which is the times okay we'll just close the div element for our message alert so div and we need to specify the message text okay and we close this line with the same column so right below this line we need to check if we have message alert and we have the message text so if we have those two we need to inject the alert into the messages or that messages div just a div that we want to or where we want to display the message of our contact form so contact form that find class message or the div with the class messages and we're just going to set the html into our alert box and also the contact form will be or we will need to reset our contact form so that's reset and open close parentheses and semicolon after this line after the line for our ajax we just need to return false so the next step is to test the project we need to test our project locally first and then we will upload this into into the server later on so let's go ahead and open up this project from our browser so here we are at our browser and we'll try we'll try to check our contact form it's if it's working or not because I'll be amazed if we if we don't have errors in our code so First, we're going to check if we have errors in our console. So click on this hamburger icon and web developer and click on this web console. So as you can see, we don't have errors for this page. Okay, so it's a good thing. Now we need to test the form itself. So let's just 
type in some values here and John Doe at gmail.com specify a request for quotation this is for testing purposes only okay. and then click on this send message so we have an error in our contact.php file on line 28 so we'll try to fix this so looking at our code contact.php in line 28 we have this so instead of having this semicolon we just need to delete this one and save our file and go back to our browser we just need to save this contact.js also so save so we need to uh, refresh our page and uh, send a message okay so we have failed to connect to mail server at localhost port 45 uh, port 25 verify your SMTP and so on so basically this means that our contact at PHP file is working but we don't have a working mail or SMTP setup in our local host so we need to upload this to our server so before uploading I did some tests and definitely we have several keywords that we have uh, mistyped so, so for example in our contact at PHP so instead of str to l o uh, l w e r so this should be str to lowercase to lower and we need to add also an else block here response array and pass in the message then close and also in our index dot php i think we have an error here so in our form or opening form tag we have added the action to contact that php so instead of doing this here we need to remove this because we're doing all the submission by the jquery file or the the javascript file so save this one and also in our contact that js we uh mistype here is default prevent so it should be is default prevented change that one and save so it, it is now time to upload our project online so you could choose whatever ftp client uh you're gonna use so for me i use the ftp or the filezilla ftp client so this is the live version of our contact form and we're just going to test and send a test message so we just need to fill out this form so first name will be john the last name is doe the email is john doe at gmail.com and we just need to specify what our specific needs are so say for example our request quotation and for our message let's just say this is an email from the awesome contact form created by programming knowledge and then click on the send message okay so we have here the nice looking alert contact form successfully submitted i will get back to you so we'll check the email if we got the email from this form so we have here the test email that we have sent from our contact form if you can't find the email in your inbox you can check your spam folder because sometimes or most of the time if you have unrecognized domain it will always end up in the spam folder so i think that's it for this tutorial thanks